First edge guard, and now you're dead. And now we're in game five in a last stock situation again. So hopefully, well, actually, no. I'm pretty sure Jen is very aware that he's not going to counter off again. And But then again, he, if he does counter and it works, then he's the coolest guy. You're right. Coolest you're guy. the coolest follower in the state. Yeah. <laughs> um, that be, all right, yeah. So also, I, I do think that it's, like, I like the fact that we have so much diversity in terms of, like, player style and what the players, you know, sort of really focus on. You right. know, I, there's the whole... <gasps> oh, my God! <laughs> we focus Yo. in on that stuff. Gen, Gen <laughs> 8... Gatsby soul apparently and Gatsby just absorbed gave him his the truest mean. essence. He gave up the mean warm up right there. <laughs> I feel like you know, I'ma just holler at Gatsby. Yo, Gatsby, warm me up, bro, because I need to play hot right now. <laughs> Jen was not playing this fast at uh, at winners finals. Yeah. And the thing that I noticed is that Ling Ling is so consistent with his punishes that Jen has to be on his toes at all costs. Oh yeah. Like he was on his toes with Gatsby, but this playing against Ling Ling, one mistake. The difference with Gatsby, you can make like three mistakes. I'm privileged and whatever. This, you can't make almost no mistakes. Absolutely you have to abuse not. Daisy's floatiness, uh, bad air dodges and everything. And Jen is consistent on it. Good two frame with the down tilt, but gets pimp slapped by Daisy Good across the stage. Good though. At 180. Yeah. is death. <laughs> it's death. Finally managing to take him out. And the thing is that, like, so, yes, Jen is in the lead. But when you think about it, Jen got this crazy, you know, down air read that killed so, so early. Right. And still this game is pretty even. Jen is going to have to continue to make those plays. It's unpunishable. Dude. It's freaking unpunishable. <laughs> I knew you was going to say that, bro. Because of the win buffers. Um, <laughs> I'm going to make you buffer. <laughs> My man That's made him. He, yo, he wa I know he set. wanted to shoot as soon as he got up. But because of the win box. Nah, you're just going to air dodge off the stage. And if Jen wanted to be a, a, a mean jerk, he actually could have just run off and down here if you he expected it to happen. Got to love being a player. Ooh. The thing is, you have to really assume that your opponent is <laughs> bad. <laughs> you know to I mean? get away with 10 forward smashes unpunished. Like, I, I will question life at that point. All right. Jen putting him into his last dog, but Ling Ling is not the man to be sleeping yet. Yeah. Oh, he has a turn up in his hand. Get him! Oh, so get him. Ah. What? <laughs> oh. He thought about it. It looked like he thought about it. It was like, nah, I don't want to risk what happened at my winners' finals. Bro. This, uh, <laughs> honestly, this aggression from Jen is not something that I typically see from him. A lot of us are so used to Jen playing really defensive, heavy on the stage, which he. Is. Oh my God! Nice turn up snipe. But good, better for Jen. For he oh. saved his jump, and I tell him this is what happens when you play with tap jump off with Paulo. Your recoveries are godlike. In all situations at this point, yeah. If he, um, if he had tap jump, he most likely would have jumped into it and not even get that crazy angle that he did. Jen probably play a little bit of melee real quick, yeah. going those crazy yeah. teleport angles. Jane had done that dash attack out of the corner a lot. I yeah. think it was like the third one that he did, and finally <laughs> Ling Ling was there it's, to punish it's it. So good. I mean, <laughs> I it, beat everything yeah. in that game. <laughs> well, the thing is that like the, the really good thing about Palu dash attack in the corner is that normally when you have your opponent in the corner, you're like, let me put out hitboxes yeah. to punish them from trying to get out of the let corner. Let me with punish. Maybe let me play a little neutral, not run into it. Nah, I'm gonna go unga boonga and throw it out anyway. Yeah, but it's like the fact that Jen is so like ready to go off stage, chase Ling Ling down. I think that maybe that speaks to the fact he's not confident in his ledge trapping. Yeah, I feel like winners finals when he actually. Oh my oh, God, oh, 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 that's the gen. Oh, but he 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 didn't use it in the winners finals. He used it finally in this. But game one, I wasn't expecting that to come out. I was expecting that to come out in game three or something like that. He tends to do yeah. that sometimes. I've seen it. I but mean, back to what I was saying, it's just that most people are so used to gen playing like very like fundamental heavy. Like I'm staying on the stage. I play very safe. Some, some people would tell me, like, there's a thing, like, you're playing too safe. Like, he's not that he's normally not the type of player that will go crazy off stage, go for high risk, high rewards, and everything. Keep it plain and simple. Bread and butter. Simple less traps. Cool. With punish. Cool. But in that game, we saw high I, pace, fast I aggression. Think, I, I think part of it might just be he's <laughs> trying to really throw Ling Ling off his game. Yeah. Ling Ling was Ling Ling's played against Jen a lot. And I, point. But I don't think he's played against this breed of Jen right. a lot. And I mean already in that game one, that was kind of decisive because he was just finding these super duper kill moves and also just wasn't dying himself. Yeah, you, you might have a good point with that. You know, maybe I've been looking at you play for so long that I, 
he's expecting him to play defensive. Oh. But playing aggressive could be a thing that might throw him off. Yeah, and okay, if I were really think about like the, the thought process here, it feels like every time, like the second that Jen misses his ledge traps, he immediately gets thrown off stage and has yeah. to deal with it himself. And if he's gonna have to deal with that anyway, might as well go off stage. You know, if you're gonna well. get if, <laughs> like normally the advantage to like ledge trapping is that you don't automatically wind in up, up in a bad situation if your right. ledge trap fails. Ooh. But uh, against Ling Ling, it's just been so consistent that the second that he messes it up, he's now the one who's really on the back. That's it. what I was basically mentioning is, oh my god, we're going to mention that death right there. I love that. Th that's what you was mentioning in the game one. Like, it's so aggressive, so high paced, so fast that Ga his inner Gatsby is coming out. <laughs> Gatsby playing him so fast that it just made Jen like, I got to play Ooga Booga real quick. Okay, so actually, hold on a second. Somebody should go check on Gatsby because if he's like <laughs> unconscious on the floor, I think maybe he just possessed Jen's soul with astral projection. <laughs> uh, in which case, is that a DQ? I think it's a DQ. Maybe it's a DQ. I'm a, let me, <laughs> my man said, I got to end up hollow. Watch this. <laughs> my man stole Jen's soul. Like, I hear it. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, barely timed it. Barely timed it. Okay, things are kind of slowing down a little bit, you know? At least at this point right here. After so much action pack, it feels like Jen is kind of manipulating the pace to what he wants to be more. He doesn't I feel like he needs to constantly be. I feel pace. like, oh my, well, that DI was half sus. Couldn't tell. But I feel like Jen can't, like, it, the pace slowed down because Jen is playing the, the same Jen again. Like, he doesn't want to get too cocky that, you know, I was kind of destroying your first stock. I had it, but now I'm going to keep it plain and simple. He's using a lot of up throws in this matchup. Well, keep in mind, he was using up throws last match, and then the second he went for down throw, he beat it out the air dodge for the down smash. I think yeah. maybe it's something like that. But, like, really something like in particular, like, in this specific matchup, he didn't up throw no one else like that. So, he knows that, you know, Peach and Daisy struggle on landing, so I'm going to keep throwing you up. I know that... If I'm out of combo range, oh my god. Oh, good oh, jump. Good oh. saving on the jump right there. That recovery was so good. And gotta love no tap jump for that situation. I would have died. <laughs> Does he play with tap jump? Buddy. It, it can't. Buddy. Oh. oh. I feel like he wanted. It's either he wanted to play or I see a little drift. I'm like, wait a minute. Town ain't that crazy. It ain't that good. Yeah, that was. It had to be him yeah. wanting to play. Ho hopefully that wasn't him. Um, like just like straight up, you know, nothing yeah. but error. Because that's the sort of thing where, especially if you like, I feel like in order to play this aggressive way, you need to be feeling yourself. Yeah. You need to not be second guessing. And when you start misinputting and dying, that is one of the fastest momentum killers imaginable. Fully, fully, one hundred percent agree with that right there. Because at least, like, I'm, a, I'm normally an aggressive player. So if you want to be aggro, high pace, like Gatsby and all that stuff, you got to be confident in your play style. You have to be confident on your decision making at crucial moments like that. You have to not really care, like, all right, if I miss this attack, I'm not going to let it get to me in my head in the Good long job. run. Oh, my God. That, let's the cancel. ledge cancel. Yeah, he, he finally got it. He's been trying to do the, the horizontal ledge cancel for a minute now in actual sets. And I haven't seen him got any of it. But the one time he gets it, Safe. It's an important, time <laughs> the to important get it. timing that he got it. Like going up 2 0 <laughs> versus going having this evened up 1 1. That's such a massive difference considering he needs to take two sets in order to win. Right. What a parry is he can actually get oh, the punish. Oh, good jump from Ling Ling, but it's not, it's not gonna, that's going to cost him in the air. Oh, whoa, buddy. I thought he counted. I was going to be looking at him like that. <gasps> <gasps> he, he said, Where you going? <laughs> You can see Jen was doing <laughs> so much. You just put it in so much. That's work. what I was in a bitch, and I'm like, yo, you mentioned hit. that, yo, like <laughs> the game slowed down somehow. I'm like, I feel like he slowed down because he can't sleep on this man right here. Ling Ling is a dominant player in his region. I'm pretty sure he is in C because I know he's from CT, right? Yeah, I think yeah. he's number two or three in CT. Even yeah, even better than I expected. So it's yeah, like I, you have I, Light I, him. I mean, I could be wrong. I'm pretty. I know. I mean, he's one of the best. Players. He's definitely he's like one top of the best players in CT. Yeah, I definitely give him like top five CT of all time. Oh, yeah. oh one hundred. Because I barely even know CT players to be honest. I only know like Light. Hang out with him. Him. I'm pretty sure he probably is a cool dude to chill with too. So. Met him in Smash 4. Oh my, I thought he, yo, if he would have caught the whole dare right there, good DI from Jen. One thing I also noticed in Winner's Finals and in this one, he did not let Ling Ling, Ling, Ling breathe whenever he did dare. Whenever Jen was shielding, Ling Ling would sometimes do dare pressures and everything, and Jen immediately just near anti-airing him. But now, he's using his dares at better spots right now. 
Causing Jen his first stock. Yeah, and this is the sort of thing where that crazy high octane gen that we saw in game one, it seems to be kind of fizzling out. He's returning to his old ways, which yeah. normally is not a bad thing. Jen's old ways, they but are tried this, and true. But against but the aggression that you gave in game one, and now you're playing like this, it's a double-edged sword now, in my opinion. Yeah. It's like, you know, you may, you, you just warmed him up, because if, you, if you're a Peach and Daisy main, you, you have to be fast. You got to be fast with your inputs. Your hands got to be warm. A lot of them carry hand warmers. So it's like, I feel like he should have did the other way around where you kind of started off defensively and then in the long run in the set, play fast. Ah. That's, how I, that's how I'm imagining it. That could have been better. Maybe. But he I mean, ain't grands right now. Yeah, no, and also, like, he still took game one. That's what know? I'm saying. Yeah, like, it's. I think that setting off with that kind of tone oh setter. Oh, my God. But, man, like that, it's just looking like three stocks to one. He's kind of crumbling at this moment. Ling Ling is just oh, he had pressure. to turn up this time to back it up. It's on it. Like, we're talking about, it like, oh, you know, Jen's kind of. It's really just the fact that Ling Ling has figured out and started flying him open once again. Right. Uh, now that I'm looking at it, like, Jen is still trying to do those aggressive options, but Ling Ling is just spacing around it better, doing yeah. better pressure overall. He's, he's realizing. Just, I feel like he's realizing Jen's defensive habits more than the other way around rather than when it's final. Where Ling Ling won. Not because not, not by love, because in game five was a different story, but Jen throwing off his own momentum from that counter at game four. And now, hopefully, you know, we see a dramatic change in this entire set. That's Dot Eyes. Oh my god, Dot Eyes did it so much damage to him. Now, yeah, Jen's playing very defensive right now. He has to, let, yeah, he now has he, has to. To, he has to abuse this. He has to abuse him being in the air. Tries to call out the roll, the instant roll, but Ling Ling not biting, wow. but it's gonna bite him with the up smash instead. That. That up smash, we hadn't seen that sort of option from Ling Ling at all. He saved it. Just As a top player, he saved it for the most crucial parts that he actually needed it. Yeah. And the other said that he only did a late two to three times ever. And we're at the point now where <laughs> Ling Ling, he just needs one more game and he walks away champion of it all. Jen is hanging right. on by just a thread Jen, right now. Jen taking a deep breath, trying to get some composure yeah, yeah. right now. I feel he like knows he can do it. He knows he can. I he gave like him a hard time. The very start to this game is basically going to tell us whether or not Jen is going to keep himself if he, alive. If, I, I hope he keeps up the pace right now. If he gets, I feel like if Jen gets his first stop, we're going to see a game five. Oh. We're going to see a definite game five. I mean, right now, yeah, he's, yeah, he's yeah, keeping up the pressure right now as we speak. Down two. No, not going to. He don't want, he don't want oh no trades. Oh, my God. Ah, he's Dominant thing. punish right now from Ling Ling. 70% from one mistake. And that's what I was mentioning to Maddie is that you you playing Gatsby, and then you can make maybe two to three and come back somehow. Yeah. Ling Ling, you made one mistake. Now you're at 100% 100, 100 right now. Yeah. No, it's, it's like with Gatsby, there is always the mix-ups. But just there is no mixing up Ling. Yeah. Ling Ling's ahead, man. He's his, his mind is sharp today. Oh, Top that one. Kill. <laughs> with enough rage, I don't care what? who you are. I don't care who you are. It, it was like the only the last hit too. He was at eighty percent, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't even at all the way at the oh set the ceiling either. Sure, that's Palo's up here right there. Well, let's see if your uh, prediction holds true here. So that is now that Gatsby get his first stock. He has a lot of momentum right now. Pushing him off stage, back here. No, dash attacks instead. I knew some type of shield was going to come out. But Ling Ling being ready anyway and getting the, cap, the, yeah. the proper no, punish. It was honestly, that spacing from Ling Ling was beautiful because I think it covered pretty much both dash attack and a back air. In I, that I just want to mention that was amazing DI from that down to at 0%. Because <laughs> everyone in their moms would have got caught with some training mod combo and everything. Jen, nah, I'm not having none of that. You're going to hit me with these toes and I'm out. <laughs> Good art of article. Oh yeah. my god, trading with the backer. That's actually wild. Yeah, they're both now. They're in the red. They're getting close to death percent here. Ling Ling's teetering on the edge, though, both you know, in terms of the stage position oh and the amount of life he has left in this stock. Oh my god, amazing flow cancel from the ledge from Ling Ling right now. Gave him so much stage because of that. And now you're not seeing the consistent hit stun Z catches from Jen Ooh. no more. You're seeing him actually pressing a button, air dodging to catch it. Now he's mixing up how he's catching the items down. That forward air was not what he was needed to actually take out that stock. <gasps> oh my god, he's being... This is rare seeing Jen a little bit impatient, but enough to take the next stock. Just yeah. enough. But I feel like that's going to cost him if... If he like he he's gonna get this game and then it might cost him from the next one. I hope that doesn't really affect him. See air dodge instead. Oh, but a great air scar from Ling Ling right now. 
I was going to mention that after that is that the differences with his edge guards compared to other Peach, he's been utilizing holding the turn up as he's doing the nair locks on the ledge instead of just holding nair and then you just hold for attack. Now he has options to cover with the turn ups and everything like that. Yeah, Jen oh. has to be very aware with a smash GL. Oh my god, he got out of it's, that? I, it really does also feel like Jen is getting hit by things, but he's putting himself in positions where even if he gets hit, he doesn't eat the 70% combo. Yeah. It's, you can tell he's aware. He knows what Ling is looking for, what would really doom him at this moment. And this is that patient, more, you know, calculated style that we know from Jen, but it's working out. The match has been grinding. It's been a slobber knocker up till now. And, oh, as I say all of this, we're now getting God, a oh my God, game Ling. once more. He's just throwing out moves. He's in his, yo. Damn, man. Ling Ling is keeping. Oh, my God, <laughs> the footstool. He booped him. Bro, him right on the I don't nose. know if that was intentional, but that would have been insane if he followed something up with that. <laughs> they pro they're both pressing buttons. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I, god! It's, I feel like Palu's buttons are better. Oh my god, Jen needs to just keep his composure. It's looking like it's running out. Dash attack. No, catches him with the nair. The late nair, though. He's going to be surviving Ooh. it, but no way he's going to be surviving that back air at the ledge. Good Another. Fantastic catch from Ling Ling is going to be guaranteeing him the spot first as the champion of tonight's First encore. place going into Ling Ling to Encore. Encore was stacked today.